So this is round new bypass trail. That's how we're gonna enter to that sick trail. And the parking is actually over the bridge over there. Since there's not really room to park around here. Centers. Welcome back to the Age of Sessions. If you're new to the channel, please consider to subscribe. If you're into down and mountain biking and whatever led you that. Today we're sending a trail bike on hiking trails that are amazing for mountain biking as you see. Well, it's not only for hiking, it's a multiple use trails. I came here in the past and I always missed the turn to this trail. And last time when I came here, on the way out, I noticed the turn to this trail. So I decided I'm gonna come back and check it out. This is Round Hill. It's a network of trails that connect all the way from Trout Creek in East Mountain down to Hubbard Lodge and to Fawnstock State Park in Putnam County, New York. I've ridden all the trails around here and nothing comes close to these trails on Round Hill. I'm impressed! Here's another easy descent. Never ridden that before too. But that looks too easy. But fun. I can't believe that snow. Wow. Yeah, I thought it's gonna be a flowy trail, but I was wrong. It was all technical for me, so I couldn't get a lot of speed. Probably next time I'm coming here, I'll lift the session and then I could fly it down. to learn it. That was kind of irresponsible for me. On the first lap to sit in it so fast. Now I'm like more cautious into my second run. But it's so awesome. Nothing better than finding a new trail. It's so good that it ends. This is the bottom of this trail. Which is pretty awesome. It's right at the entrance. Doesn't take a lot of traveling. Now I'm gonna session it and focus on a few sections. And we'll see if I can get some nice speed. So this section is a little sketchy. There's like a leftover of broken tree right there. And uh, I think I'm gonna have to divert my way to go from here instead of from here. But we'll see. We'll get there. So it's all about choosing the right line. The fastest, smoothest. I think I'm gonna try this time to go from here. Yeah, 
This is another fast section. Lots of loose rocks. And we're going out to another level. It's a definitely sick descending situation. Sun is gone for a second. It's nice and wide. So there's a lot of options right here. Oh, here's the sun. That was beautiful. Going up the next level. This corner is sketchy to send. Always slide out. And then there's a bunch of rocks. We're going to open a new line so I don't have to have that turn and run into the rocks. It's so sketchy. This is going to be faster, safer. Keep the leaves away. I'm probably get a boost. Used to be a sick line over here. All right, so a session about half of the track. When I'm saying track, I'm saying the section around here, but it's really getting down here. I tried to mount the GoPro in a different way this time so you can get an idea of the stiffness, but as you can see, it doesn't really work. So you can't really get an idea of how steep it is, which is pretty steep. That's why I was walking all the way up. So this is pretty much my fifth lap on this trail. So I'm not familiar with it yet. And there's a lot of rocks that I'm missing that could be a great jumps. And there's a lot of cool turns that I'm missing since I'm not familiar with it yet. So probably the next visit, I'm gonna keep sessioning it until I'm gonna get some serious speed. There you have it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully that was helpful. If you are in the area and you're looking for some fun descending trails that it's easy to access to, smash the like button if you like it. Leave a comment below. And if you're new to the channel, please consider to subscribe if you're into downing, mountain biking, and whatever related to that. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, be fast, and I'll see you on the next session.